Hi, welcome to Steve's Kitchen. Happy Halloween. I've got my giant orange potato or pumpkin. It is basically just a vegetable and it costs $15. Let's not waste it. Let's not just cut eyes in it and pop it up for Halloween and then I see them thrown away the next day. Really, after you've done your Halloween jack-o'-lanterns, take this pumpkin, trim off any of the bits that you don't want and I'm gonna show you how you can use this to make some fantastic food. Come on, let me show you how. Now here is my pumpkin, as I said. Now you saw the other day that I carved one for a, a jack-o'-lantern for Halloween special. I'm not gonna be using that one, but you can use those jack-o'-lanterns. Just trim off the bits, as I said, and use a serrated knife. Now, if you can get hold of one, a boning knife with nice big teeth like this works really well. What we need to do is start by cutting up this pumpkin into manageable pieces. Now you'll see here with this knife, it cuts through like butter. It's very easy. Even through the stalk there, you can get through fairly easily. And we of course are not going to be wasting the seeds. There are not many seeds in this one, but I'll show you what we can do with them in another video. So just take yourself a little bowl and use a spoon and scoop these seeds out. We are gonna save them. They make great eating. The next thing we want to do is just get this fibrous sinew out of here. Just use a spoon again and just drag the inside and get all of that out. We're going to end up with this wonderful pumpkin flesh. Now, every last bit of this is edible, even the outside, not the stalk, perhaps. Uh, you could cut this up, uh, roast it just like a butternut squash. But today we're going to be cutting this up into smaller pieces because we're making pumpkin puree. So I'm going to cut this now until I've got pieces that I can manage. And then with a small paring knife, I am just going to trim off the outside skin like that. Now you could use a potato peeler for this, any little sharp device just to get the outside tougher skin off. Now look, that's just half of the pumpkin here. I've already got two kilos. That's about four pounds of wonderful pumpkin flesh. Now we just want to cut these up now into small manageable pieces, little cubes about this size into a saucepan. Okay, I've diced the pumpkin up nice and small little cubes and I've covered it with water. We're going to bring that up to the boil, cover that and simmer it for 20 minutes. Let it get lovely and tender. No seasoning in there whatsoever because we'll season it with whatever we decide to bake later on. And these pumpkin seeds, by the way, I can't wait to get and roast these. I love roasted pumpkin seeds, but that's another video. Join me for that a little later. Now that's been boiling for about 20 minutes. If you come down here, you'll see that they're lovely and soft like butter. Now they're ready for us just to drain that off. I'll take that over to a colander, drain off the water. And then we're gonna bring that back into the pan. Make sure most of the water has steamed or drained off of this. Now you could pop this into a food processor. You could take a masher like this and mash it down. I love to use my stick blender. It makes things very simple. And just see if I can get the cable out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. Just get that in there. And you can just use this to get a wonderful puree. Now what you're going to end up with, this is wonderful smooth puree, which is absolutely delicious. Now we need to let that cool down a little bit and then I'll come back and we'll bag it or box it up. Now, once the pumpkin puree has cooled down a little bit like that, I like to take a, a Ziploc bag, simple little Ziploc bag like this, and we just portion it up into the bags. So I'm looking for about a cup or about half a pound, and we just seal the air out of this. And you can flatten these down like that and pop them into the freezer. One or two, three of these in the freezer, they will last for months and months. Now, when you take them out, you can defrost them and use them. They're unseasoned, remember, so you can use them in cupcakes, you can use them in soups, or as I'm gonna be doing in a pumpkin bread in my next video. So join me then, be good. I hope you've enjoyed this. Share the love, give the thumbs up. I'll see you next time. I really do love my pumpkin bread and there will be a video for that. And of course, there are lots of other videos on the Steve's Kitchen channel for Halloween. I'll leave a link up here and a link to a completely different video as well. So please stay in touch, comments down below, subscribe to the channel. See you later.